Moderator Monday. I'm a little bit later than the usual Monday moderator time. So it's just been a really busy day. And so I have a tentative plan of what I think I'm gonna be using with my kids this year for our upcoming school year for our curriculum. It's really strange as I was getting it ready because I only have three next year because my oldest graduates on Friday. So getting this prepared was kind of odd because I kept thinking I needed to get four ready when I really only have three next year. So it's been a really strange thing for me to realize that. But anyway, I'm gonna start with my youngest who is 11 years old. And technically, if we go by traditional years of school, he would be a seventh grader, but um, we were in traditional school when we began with him. And he began kindergarten at four years old because of the cutoff date. So really he's more at like, hello, <laughs> really he's more at like the fifth through sixth grade level. And so um, for my youngest, I will be using language lessons for living education five, which I don't have a copy of yet. So I'm waiting with the rest of y'all for that one. And then for his math, I'm going to be using, we're finishing Math Lessons for Living Education 5, so we'll be doing Math Lessons for Living Education 6 for him, for his math, for my youngest. Then he has looked through all of the science options that we have, and you can see I have those behind me. He has picked out to do Physical World next year. We've done, he's the one that's done Elementary Anatomy this year, and um, he really wanted to continue with anatomy and do the junior high <laughs> anatomy, but he is not, he's not ready for that. And so we're going to be doing physical world. He looked through every one of the books and this is what he chose. And he made sure that I was going to tell you guys that today. <laughs> so we're doing the physical world. So I'm excited about this because I actually haven't used any of the God's design books yet. And so I've looked all through them. So this will be my first chance to use one. So I'm really glad he chose one because he would be the last one of my kids to um, be in this age group. Then for his history, we haven't done, I've done world geography with him. I've done several, hello everybody. I've done several different um, US histories and different things with him, but we have not done a world history. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Remember I told you that he was my, um, he's supposed to be traditionally seventh grade, but he's only 11 and um, he is also my struggling learner. So I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna be using this yet. Might be more of reading and doing things orally, but he really wants to do world story. So we will begin world story this next year with him. And then we are going to do one elective, one Bible elective, and obviously Bible and apologetics are in all of these courses, but we're going to, he wants to do this. He saw this on my shelf. And so we're going to give this, um, this a shot. What does the Bible say about that? So this will be his Bible. So for my sixth grader, and again, I'll post all of this later, um, but for my sixth grader going into seventh, but really more at fifth and fifth grade level, he'll be doing Language Lessons for Living Education 5, Math Level 6, Math Lessons for Living Education 6, God's Design Physical World, World Story 1 with some adaptations to that, and then what does the Bible say about that? Those are his choices, okay? And he, all during this weekend at the Teach Them Diligently conference, he looked, and he's been looking on my bookshelves and trying to figure that out, and that's what he's he's decided. So I like to give my kids some of the say in what they're doing. All right. So then I have my upcoming freshman. I kind of turn it around because I have all of these books stacked right here. I have my upcoming freshman, Asher, and I'll go through him. He's going to do the intro to logic. And I'm actually going to do this with my two older children. So my let my junior and my freshman will both be doing this, even though it's a, it's the eighth through tenth grade. I think they both need to get this course in, so both of them will be doing this course. The Intro to Logic. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I've heard nothing but great things. And then for Asher, he did Jensen's grammar this year, but I'm going to put him in writing streams. <laughs> For next year, we are going to do Jensen's punctuation and writing 
and vocabulary with him, but for his, he did grammar in eighth grade, so for his freshman year, we're gonna work on some little bit more of his writing because that boy, <laughs> he does not have a creative thought. <laughs> Honestly, like he, he is not a creative thinker and even just his basic sentences and Jensen's grammar were a struggle to get him to think of creative things. So I thought, I think we need to take a little bit of a detour from, from this and we need to focus. So I'm going to do an, um, writing strands with Asher. I'll probably be asking lots of questions and helps and <laughs> needing support as I do the writing strands. Because for me, this is going to be very different because I am more of the Jensen's structured uh, grammar thinker when it comes to that. So we'll see how writing strands. I know so many of you guys love it and I know that there's other moderators that love it. And so I'm going to give it another shot with my children and especially Asher and see how it goes with us. So we'll be doing the writing strands. And then for his math, we'll be doing the elementary algebra. And so... Uh, we've finished the, oh, I just dropped a big one. We finished the principles of math and so we're gonna be doing elementary algebra with him. And then he looked through all the history and he asked to do American history this next year. He finished World Story One and part of World Story Two, but and he likes them, but he said that for next year he really wants to do American history, so I'm gonna take a little pause on that and we're gonna work and do this new American history that has been redone with Stovall, so we'll see. And then he chose the course that my sixth grader wanted to do for um, science, but we'll be doing all four of these anatomy and physiology science books with Asher, and um, he's looking forward to finishing. He wants to do all four of them, so he'll be doing all four of those. Okay, so that is my upcoming questionable younger 11 year old of where you would really place him he's in all different levels and then um yes I can't that American history teacher's guide does look wonderful and so when he when he was really asking me to take a break from world history for a little bit and do the American history I was glad to because I want to go through that new teacher's guide more and um anyway he did he's done lots of like American revolutionary type history but we haven't really done a full American history with him since, you know, lower elementary time. So I'm looking forward to doing that with him. All right, so now I have my one and only daughter that will be in school next year. <laughs> and as I already said, we're gonna do the logic. So she will be a junior, but I'm still going to do this logic course with her because I just feel like this is absolutely a necessary course. And um, even though it's recommended for eighth through 10th grade, as we've always say, make them your own and I'm making this on my own and we're using it with my junior because I feel like this is a must do course. Anyway, and then she, she has, I don't have all of her books to show because I just don't have them. She's gonna do the new government course coming out. Um, so I don't have those to hold up, but we're gonna do the government and the economics with her this coming year so that will be her history we're going to be doing this beautiful chemistry with her this year and then thankfully our co-op we're doing chemistry labs so she will have we'll be doing labs in chemistry um and at our co-op her math it's time for her to be in algebra two she's done algebra one she's done geometry so it's time for her to be in algebra two and as you know, right now, we don't have that upper level math with Master Books, so we are going to be using an, another source of curriculum for her to do that Algebra 2 class. Um, and then she is going to be doing both of these. Um, as you know, this year, and I've talked about it before, so if you've looked at all, I did Jensen's Grammar with her and Jensen's Vocabulary with her this year. And we're doing the two-year plan for the vocabulary. So we'll be doing the second half of this vocabulary, which means we will get in the Greek. And I thought I had that right here, but I don't. Anyway, so we'll get in. First semester, we'll be working in this book. And then the second semester is doing the Intro to Greek course. So she'll be doing that. And then also, she's doing this punctuation. We've talked about it before. No, you do not need 
both of these to have a full language arts. <clears throat> but I did not switch her to Jensen's until this past year, until her sophomore year. And I want her to get through all, all four books. And so we worked on Jensen's grammar and vocabulary this year. And so next year we're working on Jensen's punctuation and vocabulary to split, spread that vocabulary into the two year. And then her senior year, we will do the Jensen's format writing. So no, not necessary to do two. It's just I chose to spread that vocabulary into two years and that's just how it worked for her. So anyway, so that's it. I only have three kids in school next year. <laughs> so I feel like I should be showing you a fourth, but I'm not um, because my oldest graduates this Friday. Um, and yes, she has graduated with prim primarily master books and I've shared that with you all before. But um, anyway, so I will be sure to post in here the the list of courses that my children are taking and I'll also take a picture of what they're taking and uh, what I plan to use with them. I put tentatively in the <laughs> in the title because um, this is my plan right now but give me you know give me four weeks and I may look at something different or I may uh, something might be said that just makes me swerve a different way and so that's my tentative plan but I will post it in the comments of what's going on it won't be right away so don't expect it tonight until really late <laughs> because um, it has been a full day for me trying to prepare for graduation and then also um, my girls their their Mother's Day gift to me was that we're going to get our nails done tonight so I'm about to leave they actually have already peeked in asking if I'm ready so I'm about to leave to go get my nails done with my daughters with my 16 and 17 year old and so uh, anyway so don't expect it here right away but I will get to it um, and anyway I hope that's been helpful as far as you seeing it and knowing what we're doing but uh, I guess that's it and so thank y'all for watching and I'll post soon and I'll post some pictures of what we're doing as well it's so good to talk to y'all and I was so glad to meet so many of you this weekend at teach them diligently I had so much fun doing that all right talk to y'all later great have a good night